Jonathan Michael Hunter was deployed several weeks ago. His last conversation with his dad was a phone call on Saturday. He told me last Saturday on the phone, he said, Dad, I'm so, I, I wanted to be here. This is what I joined for, to fight and protect and serve. Hunter graduated from Columbus East in 2011. He traveled to Nashville, Tennessee to chase his dream of producing music. Changing plans, he attended Indiana State University where he participated in the Air Force ROTC. But he enlisted in the Army in 2014, rising to the rank of sergeant and becoming a member of the elite 82nd Airborne Division. The pride you have in your son for serving his country. I can't explain it. It's just... <laughs> he was just... I can't, I can't explain it. I'm just very, very proud that he wanted to serve and protect our country. Hunter and another service member were killed by a suicide bombing on Wednesday. The military sent a team, including a chaplain, to notify his family of his death. And when they stepped out, I seen the chaplain and the first sergeant and the looks on their face. And that's when I just dropped to the ground. You did. So I knew, yes. Yeah. I even knew on the way home, I knew it was something bad. The man who once called Bartholomew County home yet again reminds all through his service that he's a hometown hero, making Columbus and his country proud. And here he was well liked and well respected. That ceremony tomorrow at Dover Air Force Base is set to begin at 12:30. Tonight on the news at six o'clock, the moment that Hunter will never, will always, always appreciate, as he told his parents inside of Lucas Oil Stadium. We'll hear from his coach. We'll hear from his dad. We'll also hear from his uncle, both who also served our country well. In Columbus, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.